Hi, I'm Tom Percival, and today I'm going to be reading Ravi's Roar. Just before I start the book though, I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I wrote it. So, Ravi's Roar explores anger, and anger is a feeling that I'm sure we can all relate to. Hands up anyone who's ever felt angry. Me. <laughs> Hands up anyone who's ever, you know, maybe behaves not brilliantly when you've been angry and then regretted it afterwards. Me also. Um, yeah, that's something that we all do. We all lose our temper. It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to have these feelings. What's important is how we, how we choose to behave once we have and acknowledge these feelings. So anger as a tool is useful. For example, if you see your friend being picked on, then you feel angry because of the injustice of that situation and you can do something to help your friend. Uh, and that's, that's how we should be thinking about using our emotions. We use our emotions to help to guide us through our lives in a healthy, happy and productive way. And that's what I'm doing with all of my books. Uh, Ruby's Worry, Perfectly Norman, Ravi's Raw. I'm just trying to explore how we, can, how we can acknowledge and use our feelings in the best possible way. So, I shall now read the book. Ravi's Roar by me. Ravi was the youngest and the smallest in his family. Everyone was bigger than him. Even Biscuits the dog. Most of the time, being the smallest was great. But sometimes, just sometimes, it wasn't. One day, Ravi and his family went on a picnic. There was a race to the train, and guess who came last? Ravi. Everyone else got a comfy seat, but Ravi had to squash in with Dad and Biscuits. Then Biscuits made a bad smell. When everyone got to the park, they played hide and seek. It was meant to be fun, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. At the adventure playground, the monkey bars were too high. The gaps between the logs were too wide. And then, when Ravi wanted to go on the big slide, the man said, Sorry son, you're too small. Ravi got so cross that his face turned Red. But then Dad said, uh, come on, let's get an ice cream. Everybody ran off. And guess who came last? Ravi. Then, when Ravi went to get his ice cream, there was none left. Well, that really did it. Ravi was furious. He growled and a stripy tail popped out from the back of his shorts. Then he sprouted two furry ears, sharp pointy teeth, and stripy orange fur. Ravi had turned into a tiger. The tiger took a huge deep breath and then... Ravi's brother looked a, looked a bit nervous and handed the tiger his ice cream. When the tiger went to sit down, there were no benches free. So he roared and everybody got out of the way. It was great being a tiger. The tiger did all the things that Ravi couldn't. He swung across the monkey bars. He leapt across the logs. He even slid down the big slide. Nobody dared to say no. So the tiger went wild. He roared and growled and did exactly what he wanted. But soon he found that nobody wanted to play with him. Suddenly, the tiger felt a bit sad and, 
and nowhere near as cross. In fact, he couldn't quite remember what had made him so angry in the first place. I'm sorry, said the tiger in a quiet voice, and when he said that, everything felt better. That's okay, said Dad. Well done for saying sorry. And then, without even realising, Ravi became a boy once more. And that was the last time that Ravi ever turned into a tiger. Although every now and then, he did have a bit of a growl. So I hope you enjoyed Ravi's story, and I hope that after listening to it, it just makes you think about why you feel the way you do. What has caused, if you're feeling angry, what's made you feel angry? And what can you maybe, what can you maybe do to address that situation? I always think that a good first step is to find someone to talk to about it. So if you're feeling upset, if you're angry, try to express to someone how you feel. Someone that you really trust and you feel really comfortable with. And then hopefully you'll be able to solve that problem. So thanks for listening and I'll see you again sometime.